Three. Here. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bull Talk by Joe. I'm back with another episode. And it is time, guys. I know the subject that nobody wants to talk about. And uh, America, brother, Trump is back on Twitter. So Trump's actually not back on Twitter. He decided that he, he's going to stick with his own platform. But how crazy is that, right? So I had an episode of uh, Elon in Twitter, and he he bought Twitter, right, and then started getting rid of all these people, right? I guess there was a lot of money being spent on lunches and all kinds of stuff, and people were saying that he was going to, uh, that uh, Twitter was going to basically uh, fall apart and shut down, and all these people on Twitter, right? All these people are freaking out. They're like, oh, my God, you know, see you later, Twitter, and goodbye, Twitter, hashtag goodbye, Twitter, hashtag rest in peace, Twitter. It's going to crash, and it hasn't crashed at all. Actually, there's more people joining Twitter. It's craziness, right? It's just uh, the, the world we live in. So Elon Musk started to uh, unban, basically, all the people that were banned before from Twitter, uh, that's Andrew Tate and uh, Donald Trump. So he put a poll out and basically said, "Who wants me to bring Donald Trump to to you know to um to unban him?" Basically, and uh, millions of people chose to bring him back. So Elon Musk unbanned the president, the ex president of the United States, Donald Trump, and now he is basically now he can go back to Twitter and 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 talk some shit. So it's crazy. And I'm going to give you my two cents about this whole thing. There's a lot of people that don't want this. There's a lot of people that didn't want this. And uh, it's difficult, right? Because not only did he, that he, he just didn't, he just didn't do the things correctly. He was more like a gunslinger, just going crazy. And he's going to say whatever he wants, which is, which is okay, right? Which a lot of us wanted something different, but but Donald Trump was just way out there, right? He's just way out there, uh, just a little bit more, a little bit more than different, and this is causing all kinds of stuff where people are leaving leaving Twitter, and it just happens all the time, especially when Elon bought Twitter. And he wanted to charge, and he started charging like the $8, right, for the little blue check mark. And all these people were like, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm not going to pay the $8 and blah, 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 and this and that, right? Like wealthy people. I'm not going to pay the pay the $8 a month to have a check mark. It used to be free. I'm out of here. See you later. I'm out of this platform. And Twitter used to be better without Elon and this and that, right? And now it's Trump. I'm out of here. I'm going to close my account. I'm going to close my account because Trump is back and, and see you guys later. And okay. Let me let me let me explain. I said something like this on one of my episodes way back, and it was about uh, the JRE, right? About Joe Rogan, and when he was going through all that stuff, right, with the with the comments that he made, and then he apologized, blah blah blah. Right. Long story short, basically, what what I said was, if you don't like him, if you don't like Donald Trump, if you don't agree with what he has to say. Don't read his tweets. Block him. Right? Why do you have to change your life for somebody else? Why do you have to have somebody get you going and, and piss you off with a tweet when it's simple? All you got to do is block him. Who gives a shit what he has to say? If you don't want to listen to it, Block him. The problem is, is in this country, us Americans want drama. Us Americans want to know what Donald Trump has to say. And then you have these people like, well, I'm out of here. Donald Trump is gone. It's like, dude, we don't give a shit. We don't even know who you are. You're saying goodbye. You know, you're saying goodbye. Like, I'm out of here. It's like, like, we care if you leave. If you want to leave, leave. You don't have to 
say your comments and I'm out of here because it brought this guy back and blah, blah, blah. And Twitter's trash and I'm out of here. Peace. And then like two hours later, I'm back because this and that. It's like, dude, we don't care who leaves. Okay. We are there for, I'm there for my, for my podcast and to, and to, uh, find other friends, you know, podcaster friends and people and then, and, and get my show out. Right. That's my task. But if I don't like somebody or I don't like what they stand for, or I don't like the comments that they say, I have a very, very, very powerful thing. That's called a cell phone, right? An iPhone. And I can just go to my app and go, okay, I don't like this Trump guy block. That's it. All you got to do is block him. Just because Donald Trump was unbanned, it doesn't mean that Twitter is shit. It doesn't mean that it's trash. You just have to block him. Who gives a shit? There's a lot of people that say way worse things than Donald Trump on there that are crazy, right? We just focus on him because obviously he was the president and he caused a lot of commotion and there was a lot of stuff going on in his old presidency, his old time there. It was chaotic, right? It was chaotic. For a lot of people, he liked some of the things that he did. For some people, they hated everything about him, right? It's personal choice, right? Whatever it is that you believe in politics and all that stuff and whatever. That's that's for you, right? That's for me. That's for whatever. Our choices. But you have a choice to not listen to him. You have a choice to block the guy. You have a choice to not even hear about him. But you leave him open. You leave him unblocked. Why? Because you like to listen to this shit. And then the guy posts the guy posts something, and people are like, "Ah, oh, screw you!" Blah blah blah. And then you go off again. It's like yeah, there's no need for that. There's no need for that. If you don't like it, don't read them. It's that simple. That's the same thing I said about the Joe Rogan show about about Joe Rogan. If you don't like him, you don't like his jokes, and you don't like what he stands for, you don't like what he's saying. You don't have to listen to his podcast. You don't have to listen to his show. You don't have to. You have. You can block him out of everything and not worry about it. But people like the damn drama, and they go back at it again. And this guy, and this this, and this that. We get it, right? A lot of us, like for myself and other podcasters and, and stuff like that, people in the media, we like to see this stuff. We like to hear this stuff. Why? Because this is content for our shows. This is something that I can talk to you about. If Donald Trump was still banned and just whatever, and Elon didn't own Twitter, I wouldn't have an Elon episode. I wouldn't have a, a, a Donald Trump episode. I wouldn't have any of that. But this is the stuff that people want to listen to. This is the stuff that is trending. This is the stuff that that you know my listeners want to hear what I think. I don't care if the guy gets banned or unbanned. It doesn't make a difference to me. He, I can block him at any time that I want. And any time that I feel that this guy is getting out of hand, I'm going to block him or whatever it is. I do it all the time. I don't like what the heck this guy's saying. This guy's just saying nonsense and I block him. And I click on the little button and I block these people and I just move on with my life, right? Everybody has a life. You don't live for Donald Trump. We don't live for Donald Trump. Donald Trump doesn't pay our bills. Donald Trump doesn't pay your bills, doesn't pay your house bill, doesn't pay your car bill, doesn't buy you food. Donald Trump doesn't do any of that for you. So why do you have to invest in a person that does nothing for you? that just enrages you and gets you in a bad mood. And then you take it out on your family. You take it out on your friends. You take it out on social media. You become a troll. And then you're just trolling and talking shit all day. It is a waste of time, people. It's a waste of time to just bitch and moan on a website, on a on an app all day on how much you hate to pay $8, on how much you hate Donald Trump, on how much you hate this guy or this girl or this person or this show. It's a waste of time. You are wasting your time. That person is so far up in your conscience, in your mind, that you can't live because this person that shouldn't affect you in any way, the guy's not the president anymore. He's long gone, right? Yes, he did say he's going to run again, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to vote for the fucking guy. You don't have to vote for him. You don't have to vote for any of them. You can vote for somebody else. And of course, there's going to be somebody on Twitter or somebody saying, well, our votes don't count. Well, you know, we don't do that. So just don't vote at all. I mean, I don't know what to tell you. You know what I mean? Just if you don't like the guy, you don't have to follow him. You don't have to vote for him. You don't have to care about him. 
You can live your own life. You can live your own life, right? Now, if the guy was to win the presidency and then wah, wah, you speak your mind, okay, well, you know, that's a different story. But right now, the guy is, who cares? Who cares what he has to say? If you don't want to listen to him, who cares? You know, I'm not going to block him. Unless it's like, okay, dude, you're getting out of hand. You're being annoying again. I'm going to block you. You know what I mean? But right now, he's the story, right? He hasn't tweeted anything. He's still the story. It's trending. Everybody is waiting to see what Donald Trump is going to tweet. Everybody's waiting for the, I am back. I am back. Make America great again, America. And then you're going to have all these militias and all these freaking people that are like, going nuts about things and they're like anti-riot and they're i mean it's, it's stupid like we know it's stupid some of this stuff is it's ridiculous i was watching this anti-riot militia or whatever that there is and i was watching them on youtube and you're just like why 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 do people do that why do they why do they do that for for this one person why is it that they have to act like that and they're just dumb. They're out in a park and they're pretending like they have riot shields on and they're a militia against this and blah, blah, blah. And the, the dumb people, they went to some rally and they ended up getting arrested because they were inciting violence. And it's like, dude, you're, so, you're supposed to be an anti-riot militia and all this and that or whatever the heck these guys are. And they are the ones getting arrested because they're the ones trying to attack people and jump people and and i mean it's it's ridiculous right it's like it's ridiculous and that's one of the reasons why people didn't want donald trump back on twitter because of all the stuff that people are like you know people start going crazy about it and they start doing weird things but you know what there's nothing you can do about it donald trump can still come out and talk wherever he wants and do whatever he wants and i mean he was the president of the united states the guy will always be around he's always in history he's part of history now like it or not if you disagree with the guy if you don't like the guy if you like him he's part of history it's just it is what it is that doesn't mean that you have to focus your whole life around donald trump you don't have to focus your whole life around elon musk if you don't like elon musk and if you don't like what he does and if you were one of the guys that were fired and they're over there making stupid videos and they canned you and you're sad move on dude Go get a different job. Go get something different. Forget about Elon Musk. Block him. Don't use Twitter anymore if you don't want to support it. It's your choice. What I'm trying to say is it's our choice, guys. It's our choice. Don't let somebody else crawl in your mind, crawl into your thoughts, and live there. Those people are living in your mind, and they're just screwing with you. Don't do it. You don't have to give anybody that you don't want the time of day no matter if you're right or you're wrong that's my episode for today yes that's all i have to say about that you don't have to you don't have to listen to them you don't have to look at them you don't have to do nothing you can just block them or just get off of twitter or get off of whatever he's at or it's easier just block him you can block as many people as you want it's that simple. Don't let people like that live in your head. Live your own life. So hopefully um, hopefully you guys, uh, some of you guys agree with me. If you don't, it's okay. You know, everybody, not everybody is going to agree with the stuff that I have to say. But uh, I pretty much basically tell you guys how I feel about the situation and what I think about it, you know, without trying to disrespect everybody. It's my opinion and what I think about. So that being said, guys, thank you very much for all your support. Everybody out there, all my listeners all over the world, because like I said in one of my episodes, they're all over the world. It was, thank you. It's amazing. I appreciate it. And uh, you can always uh, listen to my podcast on every platform there is a podcast that you can play it on. If you want to look, watch the video, you can always go to Spotify or you can go on to YouTube, trying to promote that channel. YouTube, go subscribe. Everything is at Bold Talk by Joe. Until next time, peace.